Hello and welcome to the memory lane. Today we will look back at the 1967 American television show The Mothers-in-Law. We will revisit the cast of the series and see how they changed over the years. I will also tell you some interesting or funny trivial facts you probably did not know. So let's not waste any time and jump right into it. Eve Arden died of cardiac arrest and arteriosclerotic heart disease in 1990 at the age of 83. Kay Ballard died of kidney cancer in 2019 at the age of 93. The show was moderately successful during its first season. Accordingly, NBC renewed it with the condition that costs be kept at 1,967 levels, effectively freezing the salaries of the talent. All cast and crew, except Roger C. Carmel, signed agreements with producer Desi Arnaz. In spite of Arnaz's then-decent $2,000 salary and residuals promise, despite dozens of people's livelihoods being at risk, he refused to budge. During the 1968 Nielsen Awards, Richard Deacon replaced Carmel, and the show sank miserably. For several years, Carmel was effectively blackballed from the TV industry. Herbert Rudley died of a heart attack in 2006, at the age of 96. Jerry Fogel died of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2019, at the age of 84. In one episode, Jerry manages a band called The Warts. It was the Seeds who recorded Push Him Too Hard. It was Roger C. Carmel, who played Roger C. Buell, who was three years older than Jerry Fogel, who played Buell's son. Deborah Wally died of esophageal cancer in 2001, at the age of 60. Richard Deacon died of hypertensive heart disease in 1984, at the age of 62. It was determined that Anne Southern and Eve Arden's comedic styles were too similar, so she was replaced by Kay Ballard. Desi Arnaz died of lung cancer in 1986, at the age of 70. Desi Arnaz Jr. as drummer. As Susie K. Cole was only cast in the unaired pilot episode. Deborah Wally later took her place. Cole's scenes in this pilot episode were later res hot with Wally. Jeanette Nolan died of stroke related complications in 1998 at the age of 86. Joy Lansing died of breast cancer in 1972, at the age of 43. With her trademark sarcasm and drawl, Kay Ballard would exclaim, Oh really? Crest toothpaste, Kamei soap, Scope mouthwash, and Secret deodorant are some of the sponsored products. 